Next, let's begin painting our sandcastle and crab. Now, for this, it's going to be a little counterintuitive because we're going to start with black. And for the black, we're going to color in all the windows, first off, in our black, which is the easy part. And this is going to be a situation where you're going to have to do kind of this first painting step here, and then we're going to let it sit for a day and dry. So yeah, paint all your windows in a nice black. Make sure you don't have a whole lot of speckles poking through. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually going to outline our marker in the black as well. And you're like, what is this? This is going to get like, you know, a, a strange castle, kind of a creepy one. You know, is this a haunted house or is this, a, you know, a nice underwater mural? All we're doing by putting the black in here, we're basically outlining the castle. And what you're going to see, what we'll do next, is we're going to put like a layer of light brown over, which is going to actually going to cover up a lot of the black anyway. And then we'll also go in around the windows. So it'll basically have the effect of brightening up, but at the same time, the black will make sure that our different spires and turrets um, are all looking like they still separate, like they still have some lines separating them out, which is why we actually will use the black for this. So we'll keep doing this throughout all the different lines on our castle, and then we're going to move over to our crab on its first layer. Now I have a nice reddish brown color I put on my foam brush to start filling in our crab. This is a really nice versatile type brush because I can use it to fill in the central section very easily and I can also use it to follow the contour of the lines very easily. Again, as soon as the paint gets light, go back, grab yourself some more. You got hopefully have at least a whole can of this for yourself. Something else I also learned the other day and would be good for you if you muralists on a budget is going to uh, big hardware stores and asking if they have any extra samples of paint. Oftentimes you can get a whole gallon for like, you know, five or so bucks. Nice way to save yourself a chunk of change. Now you're going to continue filling in this whole area. One of the reasons why I like using the foam brushes is because you can kind of turn it on its edge. You can use it like this, sure, but you can also go like this. And look at how much easier that is to do to fill in the little eyes. Fill in the little eye. Tendrils going up. Much, much easier than using a brush. You can do this all the way across until you filled it into your satisfaction. Now we're going to finish fi filling in again like the legs um, and the pinchers as our first layer and we're going to use an additional color for some extra definition on our second layer. Just make sure you get a nice, good, solid layer down the first time. So you can see here we've been adding in um, black uh, highlights onto our crab. Now this has to be done after the red layer has dried otherwise it's going to smear all together. But adding in some black lines here on the legs and also the outline in the claws is a great way to add some extra definition. What's more, it'll really bring out the eyes adding in some black up there rather than just having to be more transparent and blue.